dear me, that was boring. Oh my god. I just watched like three quarters of a video on investments and I thought, I love investments. I love money. Let's have a look. Way to go, guys. You bored the crap out of me. 25 minutes of like blah, 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 words, words, words. No meaning. You were talking to each other and ignoring the audience. And not only that, what you were saying was trite. So I'm going to tell you about investing in an interesting, infused way. Not a boring way, like talking about Japanese large company investments. It's like, who the hell is doing that? None of us are doing that. Or like Ukrainian gas stocks. None of us are doing that. And no, it's a terrible idea. No, investments are more interesting when you're not spreading around digital cash numbers on a flipping computer screen. That's not, that's not investing as the way I see. I see investing as buying things, holding them for a long time, and then selling them at a very high price at a later date. It's interesting. It's like, how have they made it that flipping boring? I can't understand how they've made it that dull. Yeah, I do actually. One of them's just dull all the time. He's just boring all the time. So anyway, back to investments, right? I reviewed this record paper shiny case. There's not much to it that you don't understand. You know what a vinyl record is, right? I paid like $20 for this and $5 for shipping. Now, if I keep this for 50 years, this will be not only a rarity, but it's also signed. So how much do you think this is going to sell for? Well, that's more interesting than someone pushing a button on a computer, shifting a load of CFDs into someone else's account and saying next week I'll be worth 20 million. It's like, no, you won't. A speculated position that you've got leverage on is worth 20 million for like two seconds and then it goes back down to zero. It's like, don't listen to these guys talking about investment. I was really interested. I really wanted it to be good. But it just wasn't. It was just bleh, like word vomit with no meaning to it. So yeah, stick to these kind of things as investments, not necessarily just small media records, tapes, uh, CDs, books and things like that. I've also got, as you can see, uh, consoles, Raspberry Pi toys. I've got computers over there. I've got like a microwave from the 1940s or, you know, a really old microwave, really old radios and stuff. This is the kind of stuff that's worth investing in. Not only because it's good now, but if you look after it, you can sell it and get loads of money, like loads. Like these guys, okay, they're talking about bigger sums of money than I'm going to be talking about with my investing. I'm not investing some company's 25 million and then saying I earned 100 million and having to give it back and getting paid like 10 grand. That's not investing, that's just employment. Investing is when you or me, someone sat at home, buys something and then speculates on the value and sells it for a higher price. It's that simple. It's not about figures stupid buzzwords it's not about a jargon word salad that confuses the hell out of people and doesn't actually make sense it's certainly not about mathematics advanced level mathematics it's just not those guys miss the point of investing it's about selling higher than you bought it's as simple as that it doesn't need any other explanation i mean this right this record player 70 quid that's going to be worth a ton it's really unique already there's only two companies that make similar ones and i've got both the similar ones and that's the best one because it's got the union jack on it and it came out the week of charles's uh, coronation you know the crown day so when i write my um, article about that and put it with the receipt and all the stuff that i kept with the original cellophane and put it back in the box 50 years time that is going to be worth a lot with all the records, it'd be worth a ridiculous amount, right? And the reason I'm speculating on these investments is not so I can get rich and give my money to someone else and say, yeah, I'm such a smart guy. That's what makes it boring. No, this is an investment in my family's um, future. The, the children of my family, that's going to be worth a lot when they need it. When they're 25, getting married or 21 at uni, buying a car, whatever it is that they're doing, Considering that their mother is a radicalized psycho thinks money is evil. They're going to be poor even though they live in a middle-class area where you've got money They're gonna have no money. So that's what that is. This is the university fund for those children This is the wedding fund for those children. This is the holiday fund for those children This is money in the future Whereas if I'd have just kept the four grand I spent on all of that inflation and tax and inheritance costs are gonna eat it away to nothing that's what these guys don't say. Oh yeah, blah, blah, blah about investment in Germany and Japan and throwing thousands, hundreds of thousands of pounds at things. A, it's not any of your money, so it's boring. B, you're giving away the profit, so you're employed, it's boring. And C, it's not a physical thing. It's literally tapping buttons and then watching Matrix code. It's so dull. Avoid that kind of investing. That kind of investing conversations don't belong on YouTube. They belong in a board, a, you know, a board meeting room with grey suited guys who can't talk English they have to go blah 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 with the with the word vomit 
Oh, so yeah, you get the general idea with the investing. I've pretty much told you the long and short of it. Buy low, sell high, speculate in the middle, wait as long as you can. Keep it in good condition, keep the receipt. Build a context around it. Like um, that record came from the 8-bit guy. I screenshotted the website. I downloaded all his videos. I've got emails, conversations from me and him printed in the box with that and it's signed. I've got the controller from another thing I bought plus the two games. So all together my David Murray 8-bit collection that I spent like near, you know 160 quid all together on all the things. That is going to rock it up in price. I can guarantee you that's going to happen. The only way that will not be worth a flipping fortune in 50 years time is if it gets destroyed or wrecked or stolen. In fact, no, if it gets stolen, it'll still be worth money, just not be worth money to me. So yeah, I've said all I need to say on investing. Please feel free to ignore the greybeards in the suits talking cobblers and confusing the hell out of people and making you feel bad that you've only got like 200 quid to invest or a thousand pounds to invest. It's terrible. I hate when people do that. It's like when you go to the bank and you go, hello, you've got any investments I can look at? And they go, yeah, we only deal with one. We've got Swan. Here you go, have some Swan investment. And it's like, no. No, no, I meant give me a range of investments. I didn't mean shove something in my hand that I have to give you money for that I don't understand. That's what those investments are. Real investment is stuff that you have, that you own, that you speculate on, and when the value goes up in the future, you keep the money for. And then you can give it to whoever you want, or you can spend it on holidays, or drugs, or hookers, or whatever it is you want. But the point is, it's not boring. It's only boring if you make it boring, and it will only be made boring if there's no emotion, no enthusiasm, there's no connection. You're not doing it for yourself or your family. There's no, there's no purpose to it. Investing for the sake of investing is shit so boring. Anyway, so that's uh, my little piece on investing, investing part one. So save up your money if you're an idiot. Spend it on stuff that goes up in value, that can't be taxed, that can't be inheritance lost, that can't have anything happen to it apart from destruction, fire, theft. Investment. Get on it. See you in the next one.